Hey everyone, it's Mike. Hey, uh, I promised you that I would tell you why I'm leaving eye contact, and um, I shot this, I'm shooting this video for you today to let you know why I'm leaving, where I'm going, what the benefits are of why I'm leaving, and um, to let you know about the list transition. First, let's start with the list transition. If for any reason you don't want to come with me over to the new um, email service provider, start seeing how we're going to be using that and be take you know take part of the whole move. Please uh, go back to the email that you received and click unsubscribe, and we'll make sure that you don't move over to the new list. I just I want to make it this as uh, painless as possible for everyone. So rather than force everyone to go through and click a button and put their email address in again and re-opt in again to this new list, it's a lot easier just to move everybody over there. And then um, if you can, please do unsubscribe now though before we move over to the new list because I don't, I don't want you to come if you don't really want to get these emails because I, I, I've got a lot of stuff to share with you, but I only want to share it with those folks who really want to listen and, and want to learn from it and hopefully I'll be able to continue to add uh, value to your business and personal life, okay? So, now, let's get into the reasons why uh, I'm leaving eye contact and the reasons why um, I'm grateful they've been a, a good service provider for me. First of all, um, I've been with eye contact over a year now, and um, I met, uh, I think it's Ryan, over at... Uh, Guru Mastermind at Evan Pagan's Guru Mastermind, and he was a really good guy and was out there hustling his business, and I respect that. I respect guys who hustle, uh, and his business was eye contact, um, and he liked marketers, and it's so rare to find a good company like that that gets deliverability and likes marketers, so um, I was happy to move and happy to recommend eye contact to all of my clients because eye contact got the most important part of the puzzle which is true deliverability. Great deliverability um, matters. If you're not getting de your message delivered, then it doesn't matter how many contacts you've got because no one's getting your message. So I am very, very grateful that Eye Contact has been a wonderful service provider for me for the last year and a half or so, I think, probably. Um, and they've done a fantastic job with you know, the exception of one hiccup, I think, in the last couple of months. Um, they have done a flawless job of making sure that my mail gets through. Now, on to the reason why I'm leaving. Um, getting through is not enough. I need to be able to create advanced uh, segmentation rules. So if a customer opens this email, then I want to be able to send these other emails and follow up. If a customer clicks on this link, I want to be able to send other messaging. Guys, I've been doing email marketing since 2000. I remember writing out on a whiteboard like this, a total strategy for a company that ended up becoming a gargantuan email company based off of segmentation. This was in the year 2000. It's 2011. I don't have that with eye contact. Now, they do allow for you to create segments, but not segment, not trigger events-based segments the way that I need to. You can create segments based off of user fields, values, um, but you can only create 10 of them, and then after that, you are, have to pay a 10% premium on top of your, um, your current rate that you're paying, um, which is fine, but then you can't set up autoresponders based on the segments. Which is like, are you kidding me? You really can't set up an autoresponder based on a segment? Um, so I can't, I can't have that in my business anymore. I need to, prior to this, I've been making recommendations and telling people how to set these things up on their own for my clients. But the way that I need to move things, and because I'm such a small shop now, it's just myself and Joel and my brother, um, I need everything to be as automated as humanly possible. And I was talking with a uh, friend of mine, Andrea, and I was um, helping her out with her landing pages and talking to her about ethical marketing and the whole process and the way that we do things now. And uh, she asked me, she's like, hey, can you take a look at this uh, program we're using that's running all of our, all, everything for us? I was like, uh, you know, I'm a little leery of programs that run everything. Um, just because I never seen any of them do it really what, right or, uh, or a good job of it for that matter. Um, anyhow, I looked at it. And she got me on the phone with not a salesperson, but a programmer. And I love talking to programmers because they talk the language I talk, which is how does the machine think? What is its functionality? How can I use it? And how can I, use, how can I take what you currently have and use it to my best advantage? Two and a half hours later, I am freaking blown away 
by this uh, software company or service provider, whatever you want to call it. I mean, completely blown away. And that ne- oh, I'm getting, I'm, that never, ever happens. Ever, guys. I mean, it takes a lot to impress me. I've been doing this for over 12 years now. Yeah. Um, I've seen it all. I've seen people who say they got this and I got that or whatever. You know, I've seen all those claims. I was really genuinely impressed with Office Autopilot. I put a link down for you guys below so you can go check it out. Um, check them out. Uh, they'll know you guys are coming from me because that's a special coded affiliate link at the bottom here. They will take great care of you. So here's the thing. What are they? What what makes them so much different? And I, I wouldn't say better, but what makes them different than eye contact? Um, well, for starters, I get to actually rotate my emails. If I want to set up an autoresponder and I want to rotate through two or three emails, I think actually it's two, it might be two or four, uh, but I know I can at least do two, which is plenty for me. If I can do two, then I can rotate, replace, rotate, replace, rotate, replace. I can just rotate emails that I'm sending out to my customers and figure out what the best email uh, is to use for them. I mean, before, that was a completely manual process. And, you know, guys, I thought if you're like me, you got enough crap to do in your day, much less go back in and keep loading up new campaigns and loading up new campaigns all the time. You got other things you need to work on. That automated pro- part of the process is huge for me. I mean, just enormous. Um, I'm looking at my little note too that I made because I d- did this video once and then iMovie crashed. So I'm kind of gracious because I was able to write some notes this time. It allows you to rotate landing pages also. So I can, um, I can take static pages and I can rotate those using their landing page rotation system. And it will track all of the results and tell me which page is doing best. Um, yeah, totally freaking love that built into, the, built into the software. Also will allow me to create landing pages. I'm not sure how much I'll use that because I like to code my own pages myself, but if you're not HTML savvy and you just like drag and drop, drag an image, drag a text box, drag whatever, it's got that built into it. So you can just drag and drop whatever you want, you know, built in what's called WYSIWYG editor too. So it's got that, so I can create a landing page if I wanted to. I can insert a form. I can throw all the custom fields I want into the form that I've already created. I mean, oh, yeah. it goes on and on. Um, they'll host this website for me if I want my, my uh, blog hosted. Um, they have a WordPress plugin if I don't want it hosted, or if, it, if they are going to host it for me, then they also, of course, still have the WordPress plugin so that I can manage my membership through Office Autopilot, which I, I definitely am not getting with my current ESP, email service provider. It's a full CRM, customer uh, management system, so that I can have other agents go in and manage customers if I wanted to, or I can just go in and do it myself if I'm a one-man shop. I mean... That, that's, that in and of itself is huge. The, for, the, one of the biggest points that I usually come across when I see these people as um, um, software providers is I tell them, I say, so how do, you, how do you take care of all of the emails, you th- or all of the customers? You throw everybody into one shared IP address, and then because I know that if someone blows it in my pool and they start spamming people, um, it will mess with my deliverability. Well, their response was the first time I've received an intelligent response to that question. No, actually, you can secure your own private IP so that you are on your own IP address. We um, don't mandate that. We can put you into the group IP, and we have very, very – this is what they were saying to me. They have very strict policies on managing and maintaining um, uh, low spam thresholds or complaint thresholds for people who are on the shared IPs. And if you're on your private IP, then those are become a little bit loose. Looser. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or not, so please don't repeat that. <laughs> but uh, as marketers, you guys know what I'm talking about. You need sometimes you need your own you need your own IP. I'm going to get my own IP address. I think it's like an extra hundred bucks a month to have your own IP. But for my business and the size of my business, I absolutely need it. You don't need it to begin with because they've got those tight constraints on the shared IPs. But as people get bigger. And they may force you to go on your own IP if you end up getting uh, too large and are sending out too much email because then you become a potential liability. They're the first person to actually understand what I'm talking about when I said that and proactively tell me the, res- the fix for it before I – very, very impressed. I mean two and a half hours I was on the phone with these guys beyond impressed. I mean it – I recorded it, but I, w- I wish I could share it with you. I can't because they were talking about all kinds of stuff, and I, and I know they, 
they don't, don't want a lot of those things public because I ask them everything. And then not because they're bad things, but because, you know, I ask about ways to um, exploit the system, ways in which I can, you know, as an example, um, I, 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 you can set custom variable based uh, membership levels, right? So if the custom variable is, uh, say I have a custom variable education level. If education level equals six, I can have them have access to my membership site. Right, right now I'm using wishlist member, but I'm probably gonna end up just letting Office Autopilot manage everything. Um, well, I'm definitely gonna let Office Autopilot manage everything. Um, I can set up uh, ed education level. So if education level equals 10, then membership level can equal seven. Or, or you know, beginner. If education level equals thirty, then uh, membership level access can equal intermediate, and I can have all these different levels of uh, membership based on their current education level. So rather than having a time release program, I can have people go through my program and not have to worry about whether or not they're going to be you know bored waiting for more as they complete and they execute a fast executor will be able to get more data a slow executor will have things drip to them over you know time or whatever do you see what i'm getting at um i can send automated postcards to people who haven't logged into the system in a while i mean this is there's so much that i'm so uh, um i haven't been this excited about moving to uh, technology in a long time um and one of the primary reasons i'm so excited when I joined, I immediately got emails from my uh, hero. They call them heroes, which is so spot on because they actually assign someone to you whose only job is to make sure that you're getting all your questions answered. I mean, uh, customer service is back. I mean, they actually understand what it's like to give customer service. So uh, it's appreciated. And think about it. I mean, they're using all their own resources and tools to take care of you as the customer. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. So anyhow, I know I'm sounding like I'm totally uh, smitten with them, but I am. I mean, I really, really, really am. Um, I asked my agent if um, if they would take care of all the people that I sent through. So I put a link down below for you guys, which will track everybody that I send, and they'll make sure that you guys get very, very well taken care of. I told them that I have top people in my um, coaching group because um, they know about all the CPA Tsunami folks. They know about CPA Tsunami, so they know that you guys are um, are advanced, and they also know that there are some beginners in there too, but they'll make sure that you guys get treated very, very well. So should you decide to take a look at them. Even if you don't, please take a look at your current email service provider and look at your contract. What I found is that I was overpaying for a year and a half. I overpaid eye contact by uh, almost $200 a month for a year and a half. That's just stupid. I mean, that's my own, that's my fault. I should have been going through and analyzing those things. I didn't. I, you know, I, I had some other guys set it up when we first got started, and I never looked at it. But I was paying for a 50,000 list membership, and I only had like 27,000 names. So I was overpaying by, like I said, between 150 or $200 a month. I've been overpaying for two years. And part of that was because of the list segmentation. I didn't need all those 10 segments based on how I was using it now. Moving in to 2011, and 2011 for me, guys, huge year of focus. I mean, I don't know if you guys feel it or not, but I feel this incredible amount of focus for this year. If you don't, then that's fine. But for me, and if you, but if you do, <laughs> jump on board with me, man. We're going to be doing some crazy, crazy focus exercises. So, um, yeah. I, I know I'm going on too long. Sing's already hit in 15 minutes, so I don't want to go too long in your day. I just wanted to tell you why I'm leaving. There's so many, so many other things that uh, Office Autopilot can do. It's not even funny. It's uh, I could never do it justice. Do yourself a favor. Go over there, watch the videos, see what they have to offer, get a demo with them. Um, I promise you, you will not be upset that you spent a little bit of time now normally you know how well those of you guys who know me know how i am with my time people are like oh my god i gotta hold a mic because i don't talk on the phone to people i don't because it will suck your time it will rob every single ounce of time that you have in your day if you spend the day answering phone calls and text messages and email you could have a zero productivity business if you do that i was on the phone with those guys or not phone uh, web whatever you you know webinar or conference whatever um two and a half hours and I, I I was I was beside myself never have I been in awe 
of a system. Now, I know that you got, some of you guys may be thinking, but I've heard Office Autopilot does some of those things, or maybe, the, you know, I, or not Office Autopilot, um, what's the other one that, uh, Infusionsoft. It's never felt right for me, and I don't know why. I don't have a justification for that feeling, but I've always just known that I wasn't supposed to move to Office Auto, or uh, Infusionsoft. I, um, I had an account for a year. I paid for an account for a year with them. I think I was paying 300 and something dollars a month for an account with them for a year. I never used it. I never did anything in there. Um, I don't know why, and I have no idea. But um, this, it feels right. And for me, if you guys who know me, especially now with my most recent emails, you know, it has to feel right first. Then I'll proceed with looking at it with my left brain. Or is it right brain? <laughs> <laughs> left brain, so that I can uh, analyze all of its facts and figures. And all facts, all figures, everything checked out. It looked and is phenomenal. Uh, I'm very excited. So the next email sets you'll be getting from me will be coming from my Office Autopilot and my new domain name. Nothing will be coming from CPA Tsunami anymore because CPA Tsunami doesn't, there's no future in that, I don't believe. So I'll, um, I've canceled the plans for T2, and I've just been working on the ethical marketing website. I was going to release it because I had so many people asking me, please, please, please release the T2, blah, 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 blah. I said I was going to, but in light of changes, I'm not going to, you guys. That's one of the great things about Internet marketing. When you realize that things are changing, change with them. Don't fight it. Change with them. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So my move to Office Autopilot coincides perfectly with this new direction, perfectly with all of my better follow sequencing, um, perfectly with ethical marketing, with the spiritual guide, all of it. Everything fits in together, and I think that all of this is coming to a perfect close so that we can create the perfect sales funnel to help the most amount of people with whatever our product or service is. So, uh, if you, again, one more time, if you don't want to move over to the, to the new um, uh, Office Autopilot, installation with me please unsubscribe right away otherwise i'm gonna i'll take you guys over to the new installation with me okay um and i hope i can continue to provide great content for you and great value for your business and for your personal life okay all right guys have an amazing amazing day and thank you thank you very much for listening all right bye oh link down below click it right now before you get distracted <laughs> i know and i know marketing don't get distracted. Click the link. Go check out Office Autopilot right now. Okay.